This breathing exercise will help you learn the proper biomechanics and pace for your breathing, which is crucial for impacting your momentary stress as well as your stress levels throughout the day once this breathing becomes a habit for you. Now let's dive in into it. For this exercise, I will ask you to sit or stand as it is our typical position throughout the day and it is harder to breathe the proper way when we are standing or sitting compared to when we are lying down. First, take three deep breaths to really stretch your upper body. Breathing in, stretching your chest and breathing out. Breathing in and fully breathing out. And one more time, breathing in, taking as much breath as possible. And at the end, taking a little bit more of air if you can, and then breathe it out. In the meantime, as you are getting back to your normal breathing pattern, just double check your posture. Try to be as relaxed as possible, but at the same time, be straight and keep your shoulders just above your hips. And now let's get into the proper biomechanics of your breathing. First, take a location of your breath and move it from your upper chest to your lower body, your lower ribs. And as you do it, put your hands, fingers spread on the sides of your lower ribs in the middle of your body. And just observe where you are breathing. Slowly breathing in and out. As you are inhaling, expand your belly in 360 degrees, which means expanding your belly to the front as well as to the side of your ribs. And as you do it, press your belly into your hands all fingers should slightly spread out. On an exhale, intentionally narrow your belly, gently using your muscles, and breathe out a bit of extra air than normally. Use your diaphragm, abs, and lower back muscles. And repeat that process 10 more times. Inhaling and expanding your belly as if your belly and your ribcage were an expanding balloon. And on exhale, intentionally narrowing your belly and ribcage using your muscles and leaving a little bit of extra air. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Slowly following the space of roughly three or four seconds for the inhale. 
and three or four seconds for the exhale. Now from breathing, shift your attention to your upper body, to your shoulders and neck. And try to fully relax this part. As you are breathing, try to breathe slowly through your lower belly, through your lower ribcage. You might have a tendency to be raising your shoulders while breathing in. Your shoulders and neck have accessory breathing muscles, but I want you to see how much you can use your diaphragm as your primary breathing muscle. When you expand your ribcage by pulling up your shoulders, this means that your diaphragm is still not working to its potential and your breath follows fight or flee breathing patterns. This upward breath is ineffective. It needs more breaths to get the same amount of air than with your lower body breath. Slowly move your attention to your belly and just double check whether it's moving and expanding to the front and to the sides with every single breath. While your shoulders and neck are not moving. As you progress with this exercise, Work on widening the range of motion by widening the inhale and intentionally narrowing your belly on the exhale. Keeping the same location of your breath within your belly. Not moving with your upper chest, not moving with your shoulders. Expanding your belly to each side. And increasing the range of the inhale and the exhale. And finally, return to your natural breathing pattern and just observe it without any control for a minute. And as we are finishing this exercise, I invite you to take three deep breaths in and out into your lower belly while trying not to move your shoulders at all.
we progressed to the end. Congratulations. You can now open your eyes and return to your day. Enjoy your day or have a good night. <laughs>